The Lord Mayor's Charitable Foundation, we're interested in innovative solutions to really tricky environmental problems. The science of climate change is established. What needs more work is the communication of, of both the problem and the solutions. We hope as the community becomes more familiar with the facts, we'll be able to finally move forward and harness the many opportunities available to us as we transition to a low carbon future. One of the ways in which we're doing that is to work with Monash University. Climate Communicators is the program that's been funded by the Lord Mayor's Charitable Foundation and is a program that will see television weather presenters include climate information in their weather segments as a way of depoliticising the issue and localising information for audiences. Weather presenters hold a really unique position in that they are really superior science communicators, they're trusted and they're apolitical, which really ticks a number of the boxes with regards to the issues that we're facing already. With the seed funding from the Lord Mayor's Charitable Foundation, in addition to conducting the research with both weather presenters and audiences, we formed a Victorian advisory board with a number of presenters. I'm really pleased to support the Climate Change Communications Hub at Monash because there's a real need for it. I just hope that my experience over 30 years in commercial television presenting weather, to now use that as a valuable vehicle, that we can really achieve something. The nightly weather forecast, of course, only talks about what's happened today and what's going to happen over maybe the next seven or eight days and nothing else. But these climate change graphics and information segments that we're going to be running will be able to show the big picture. They'll show what's going to happen in 10, 20, 40 years from now if things continue on the way they are. So we're taking it from sort of this microcosm of what's happening in seven days to take a macro view of what's going to happen over maybe 40 or 50 years. By equipping Melburnians with the knowledge of how climate change is going to impact them at the city level, we want to empower them to make pro-mitigation choices to live in a Melbourne that they want to live in in the future.